Okay. So I'm not going to cover the intro since the intro is really just the same chord progression as the verse, or any of the verses, but I'm going to start with the first two chords, both again for the intro and for the verses, um, A minor 7 and F. So I have marked the A minor 7 with the pink dots here, and then the F with the blue dots here. So the notes in A minor 7 are A, E, G, C, and E. The tap doesn't actually annotate the high E, but I think it sounds nice. Um, the basic uh, like plucking pattern for the song just goes like this. And then it'll go down to the F. Notes in the F are F. It's another F here. Um, A and C. So when you play F, it's just going to be if you wanted, instead of, you could do it more like, um, it's the same notes, but that's up to you. So <clears throat> the verse would be like, it's four in the morning, the end of December. It's the first half of the verse. And then for the second half of the verse, we have a D minor seven, which I have annotated in pink here. It's a D, A, or sorry, yeah, no, D, A, C, and F, D minor 7, and same pattern, um, and then after the D minor 7 is an E minor, so we drop all the way to low E here. I said E minor 7, but it's just an E minor. Um, so again, or if you wanted, you could add the B here and do it like this instead. So this would be I'm writing you now. For the second part of the verse, you just go back, do the A minor 7, um, <coughs> F, D minor 7, E minor um, progression, just like I did in the first part. And you'll do that for the intro and all of the verses. So, for the little bridge part, um, at the end of the verses, so in the first one where it goes, I hear that you're building your little house deep in the desert. It's just going to be the A minor 7 again. And then going into a um, B minor. B minor 7, I guess. Which is B, G flat. C sharp. So it would be like I hear that you're building your little house deep in the desert. So you do the A minor 
B minor twice, basically, for that. And then for the second part of that little bridge part, it's the same thing again with the A minor. I hear that you're, or what is it? You're living for, and then this, yeah, is a G. So that'll be G, D, G, B. It's a G major chord. So. C major chord. Um, in this case, it's C, E, G, A, and E. Um, a little bit different from the verse, though. It's not going to be. It's not going to be like that. It's actually going to be B, C, then the G, and then you'll be playing the E, A, and E. Okay, same deal with the G in the chorus. It's going to be G, B, D, G, B. Those are the notes here. But again, you're going to play it like... So, what was I? Jane came by with a lock of your hair. She said that you gave it to her, whatever. And then it goes back to the A minor again. Ooh. Okay, so again, back to the A minor, but I guess it's really up to you if you want to play it like that, like how we were on the bridge, but the way that the, or the verse, I mean, but the way that the tab has it written out is like, so that would be, uh, we're up the G, she said that you gave it to her. seven for clear, which I don't remember if I fucked this up, but in the verse when I gave you the B minor seven, if it's not what it is right now, so B, then G flat, then A, and um, D, then I lied, because that's what it's supposed to be, okay? So, uh, and again, we're doing it more like... So the A minor 7 that night that you planned to go clear. And then after he says clear and finishes out that B minor, there's like one bar of just a G without any vocalization over it. So G, G, B, D. And following the same theme for the chorus, it'll be
And then the chorus just ends on um, F and E minor. So the F. the whole song. The verses should be the same. The chorus will be the same. The last chorus, you know, kind of repeats once uh, before going to the last little bit there. Let's see. Yeah, so it'll it'll do the C, G, A minor, B minor twice. Well, I'll just send you the chords and you can figure it out. Sorry this video sucks, but hopefully it will get you going at least. Um, I'll make one more little thing showing how I got all these notes. But otherwise, if you have any questions, uh, let me know. Um, I know in the song there are parts, uh, little instrumental parts that go up into a higher register. Um, it does sound like a second guitar in the song, but I'm not 100% on that. Um, if you can't figure it out, let me know. They don't have it in the tab here, but it sounds like it pretty much goes in line with the way he vocalizes. So if you can't figure it out from that, um, like I said, just let me know and I'll see if I can figure it out. But I'd be working from ear at that point. Uh, but yeah, hopefully this helps. As far as how I got these notes, so this is a guitar tab. I'm not sure how well you can see it, but basically all a guitar tab is, is, see that? Uh, so six lines representing the strings of the guitar. The bottom line is the lowest string, the low E, then A, D, G, B, and a high E has numbers. I'm not sure how well you can see this, but like there's a zero there, and a two there, zero, one. All the numbers represent is where you would put your fingers on the fretboard when you're playing it on the guitar. So uh, let's see if there's a number here. So two on the D string. Okay. That would just mean you'd put your finger on the second fret of the D string. All that means is that note is two half steps up from the note D. So on my little piano here I have the guitar strings marked. So this is the low E, this is the A, D, G, B, so those are just open guitar strings. So anytime that there's a number on one of the strings, you just count up two half steps, or well, however many half steps, right? So where we had a two on the D string, <coughs> you start on the D and then count one, two. And that's the note that you're playing. Now if it says, let me see. Yeah, so, see that? There's a four, two, four, two, three, one, group. It's just the line with the four on it is just representative of that D string. So, if it was a four, start at D, one, two, three, four. And that's where we get that G flat in the B minor 7 chord. It's literally all it is, is counting half steps. Um, yeah, and with that you could essentially transpose any guitar tab onto the piano 
um, again just counting from the open guitar strings half steps up so one half step is just one note right including the black keys so that's that's literally all I did.